So to summarize um, the areas with a couple of sentences, so really use performance linguistics by combining linguistic stack and analytics. Having a translator is great, but if they don't understand the metrics and how those metrics tie to the impact which the language has brought with different variations, there is no point. So they need to understand <laughs> both areas. Ensure that your website localizations work in tandem with the digital teams. If your translation team finishes something and then later they speak to the SEO team, or later the SEO team or PPC team comes with a performance report and says, sorry, we have hit a wall, we can't optimize further, it's the localization which is wrong, it's too late. You want to have at an early stage constantly a work together and optimize your TMs, your term bases, to meet the not only term bases which give you variations of words, but also give you the search volumes, tell you why why this term works. Yes, Chanel may tell me I don't like that word even though it has a search volume, but at least the linguists know that than across all the different content types they use. So bring all the channel terms and the terminology research together instead of working with them in isolation. And do not rely on traditional content creation methodologies. Test the different versions. It's the job of a content analyst again to come to you and say, that's your approach, you wanna go live in a week, you have 20 million keywords, okay, Expedia, you're gonna have to use that one first. But just to make you aware, in certain markets, it may have a negative ramifications on your brand, you're gonna get a lot of traffic, which is great, but fixing that at the later stage may not be great. So you have, it's our job to make you aware of all the different pros and cons, and then based on your specifications and your brief, you have to pick the different methodologies to get the best solution in the end.